So, as you all know, yesterday Elizabeth Warren dropped out of the 2020 race, and very soon thereafter, she already gave an interview with Rachel Maddow and started bringing up this whole narrative about the mean online Bernie bros. I mean, she just doesn't quit. She's out of the race, and she just keeps on, you know, finding ways to smear Bernie. So, let's just take a look at this clip, and then I got a lot of stuff to say. Really, um threatening ugly dangerous things for other two other and it's candidates. a particularly it's a particular problem with sanders it is i mean and it just is i it's just a factual question uh and it is and and that's something i think that that have it, you ever talked with senator sanders about that i have what was that conversation like? uh it was short uh, but yeah, we've talked about it, but I think it's a real problem. Does he not share your view that he's responsible for the behavior of supporters? Uh, you know, I shouldn't speak for him. Mm -hmm. It's, it's something he should speak for himself on, but I do think it's something that, that we need to reckon with in our political discourse mm -hmm. in particular, because this is what politics is about, is to get out and put your ideas out there. People choose sides. People vote. People say, I'm holding a sign for her. I'm holding a sign for him. That is part of what we do. But what underlies that is a fundamental human decency and respect for each other. Uh, an understanding that nobody tries to put somebody's family at risk or somebody personally at risk because they disagree with you on the politics of it, because they see the policy different, because they don't support your candidate and they support some other candidate. No. And and if if we follow that same kind of politics of division that Donald Trump follows, mm. that, that notion of he draws strength from tearing people apart, from demonizing people, from saying, oh, those are bad people. And that's, that's kind of how they draw their strength. It's not who I want to be. As a Democrat, it's not who I want to be as an American. So, you know who that reminds me of? That sounds a lot like Hillary Clinton after 2016. Not wanting to take accountability, trying to shift the blame, blaming the poor performance of her candidacy on Bernie Sanders, on his online supporters. I mean, come on. The problem with saying this is that they don't draw a line between mean things, being offensive, and impolite and rude and policy criticisms this is a technique that they use to silence criticism oh you don't like my medicare for all plan you're a sexist oh you're bringing up the fact that i used to take corporate money you hate democrats you don't like the way that i stabbed bernie in the back and made unfair unprovable allegations of sexism against him you're being mean to me you're unfair no when elizabeth warren does shady stuff, she needs to be called out on it. Valid criticisms on policy are valid criticisms. And the neoliberals, the establishment, they constantly use this because they have nothing to attack Bernie Sanders on. Like, this is the only two things. Oh, you're a socialist, you're a communist, and then the mean Bernie bros online. And I find it absolutely incredible that she wants Bernie Sanders, who is the most popular politician in America, and one of the most popular politicians in the world, honestly. He's known worldwide. How is he supposed to control people on Twitter? Like, that's logistically impossible. I mean, what? And then she acts like he's never disavowed that kind of behavior, and he's never come out and condemned it. The dude has done that over and over and over again. He constantly bows his head and apologizes when he shouldn't even need to. Bernie Sanders is running for president, not his supporters, okay? You want to talk about Bernie Sanders? Talk about his policies. I don't care what Bernie bro underscore 369 told you on Twitter. <laughs> That's completely irrelevant. All right. And another point is that if you think these alleged Bernie bros are so mean to you online, what do you think is going to happen in the general? You think Trump supporters on Twitter are going to be nice to you? So again, this is just a smear that we heard last election. Hillary Clinton was bringing it up a few weeks ago again. And now Warren is continuing that same pattern because they don't actually have anything of substance to go after Bernie Sanders with. And I think it's really disingenuous of her to blame the failure of her candidacy on some random trolls online. You're the one who kept flip-flopping on Medicare for All. You're the one who went back 
on your promise not to take super PAC money. You're the one who stuck a knife in Bernie Sanders when you realized your campaign was failing and tried to play the sexism card. You're the one who decided not to get behind Bernie Sanders and coalesce the progressive wing right before Super Tuesday. You're the one who said you'd still take super PAC money if you got the nomination. You're the one who tried to appease both progressives and moderates and take this middle road approach that landed you nowhere. You made those strategic errors, okay? You came in third place in Massachusetts in your home state. Bernie bros online didn't do that. And I just want to make the case here, okay? I'm not, saying, I'm not saying at all that it's okay to be rude or to dox people or, you know, bully people online. Of course not. Obviously not. That's terrible. But what the neoliberals do, what people like Neera Tannen do, what MSNBC does, what Hillary Clinton does, is they gaslight the working class. They say that, oh, how dare you be angry that you've been denied universal health care? How dare you be angry that you can't fill your prescriptions? How dare you be angry that you're making starvation wages? Shush, you're being mean. What? People are dying because they don't have health care. People are working two, three jobs. Of course they're mad. They have a right to be mad. People are sick of drowning in medical debt. People are sick of drowning in student debt. People are sick of being sent to fight in useless wars that make corporations rich. People are sick of being shot and locked up in jail because of the color of their skin. And then you're going to tell them to be quiet and that their outrage isn't justified? Every bit of their outrage is justified. And they fucking know it. And that's why they try to make people shut up. Oh, the Bernie bros. Do you know how messed up that is too? Stripping people of their identity, stripping the identities of this working class grassroots movement, this multi-generational, multi-racial movement. Trans, gay, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, young, old, male, female, more diverse than any campaign. They don't want you to know how powerful it is. And now they're trying to prop up Joe Biden, this war criminal piece of shit who orchestrated the war in Iraq. But no, 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 don't talk about Joe Biden. The Bernie bros. The fucking Bernie bros. That's all Elizabeth Warren had to say after she dropped out. Not that Joe Biden is a war criminal and killed a million civilians in Iraq and 9,000 veterans dead from suicide. Not that Joe Biden was against gay marriage. Not that Joe Biden wrote the crime bill. Not that Joe Biden is a fucking creep. No, 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 no. The Bernie bros. They're the root of all evil in society. The fucking Bernie bros. That's what Elizabeth Warren is doing. That's your progressive champion right there. And all these fucking dingbats with their bullshit identity politics that don't want to vote now for Bernie Sanders because someone sent them a snake emoji can go and fuck themselves, okay? Because that means you never cared about this working class movement. You never cared about people dying because of lack of health care. You want to vote for a war criminal for Joe Biden because someone sent you a fucking snake emoji? What are you, two years old? You know my country is in ruins because of what Joe Biden and Obama did, because of what Bush did, and you want to vote for those same war hawk, neo-colonialist, imperialist pieces of garbage. Well done, Karen. Well done, Susie. You know, they say Bernie is having trouble with rural whites and with suburbanites. All right, well, these Orange County wine moms can go and fuck themselves. Oh, I, I don't really like the way Bernie speaks. So I'm going to go vote for a war criminal who killed a million Iraqis and destroyed the Middle East and destroyed Syria and destroyed Libya and destroyed Somalia and Yemen and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well fucking done. Well done, you fucking morons. And don't bother trying to court Elizabeth Warren's endorsement. Elizabeth Warren is an opportunist, and she's going to do whatever benefits her, not the progressive movement.